of electrons through a material so take it from me your instructor elemental metals are the perfect conductor a ceramic rubber glass insulator she's conductor flow through air generators and the hydro that's water into energy coming to your crib in the form of electricity you see it every time you flick on the light this completed little circuit helps you see in the night the bulbs which in power source form the entire circuit that's connected by a tiny copper wires Forming a loop in an electrical circuit. It's a simple light switch. You know how to work it. Turn it on and off. On and off. Switch it on and off. On and off. These are the symbols that we use in diagrams. So, if you notice, first we have a battery. Well, Pretty much anything that's electric is going to have something electric that runs it, whether, you know, it's a motor or a battery. So here's our battery, and here's a motor. All right, moving forward. Next, we have resistors. This is the symbol for resistor. It's like a little heartbeat thingy. Now, resistors, remember, they help restrict the flow of electricity, which is needed, and you guys figured out why. We have ammeters and voltmeters. Ammeter measures amps, a voltmeter, that's right, measures volts. All right, notice we have a fuse. The purpose of a fuse is to keep a fire from starting because you, the fuse takes the load. So once that fuse blows, it won't transmit any more electricity. It can't flow through it. So there's our fuse. Um, here we go, wire. You have to have wire because wire is what conducts electricity, right? Remember we talked about metals? And then you also have light bulbs or lamps. Now, there's three different symbols that can possibly be used. So, I mean, pretty much it's pretty simple. It's going to be a circle with either an X, a squiggly, or a little heartbeat symbol. And then finally, the two most important things that we have that people get confused are open switches and closed switches. Now, the way to think of these, if you open the switch, you are disrupting the flow of electricity. So if you disrupt that flow of electricity, what's going to happen? That's right. The light's going to go off. Or whatever it is you're doing is going to go off. It's not going to happen anymore because you disrupted that flow. So which means when you have a closed switch, that means that the electricity is flowing through this, which means that whatever it is you're trying to power is now on. So open switch means off. Remember, open open is off and then closed means on when you're in the dark and you want to see you need a electricity electricity flip that switch and what do you get you get a electricity electricity Every Room can now be lit with just a electricity, electricity. Where do you think it all comes from? This powerful electricity, electricity. Through high wires to here it comes. They're bringing a electricity, electricity. Every building must be wired to use it. To electricity. Power plants most all use fire to make it a Electricity, electricity Burning fuel and using steam They generate Electricity, electricity Turn that generator by any means You're making a Electricity, electricity A generator is a machine that contains a powerful magnet that creates a magnetic field 
When wires are rotated rapidly through this field, then a current of electricity is produced. Now, if we only had a superhero who could stand here and turn the generator real fast, then we wouldn't need to burn so much fuel <laughs> to make electricity. Benjamin Franklin flying his kite was searching for electricity. Something to do with light in its hole Electricity, electricity Rubbing a comb with wool or fur Will give you a charge of static Electricity, stroking a cat to make it purr You're building up static Electricity, electricity Electricity at rest is called static electricity. Like in the winter, wearing a heavy coat, you get a shock off the doorknob, or you scrape across the carpet and sneak up on your very best friend and sap him on the ear with a shock of electricity. Current flowing to and fro makes a circuit of electricity, electricity. Voltage is the pressure that makes it go. It's pushing up electricity, electricity. Watts will tell you just how much you'll be using up electricity, electricity. Powerful stuff, so watch that plug. It's potent. Electricity, electricity. Electricity, electricity. So let's build a circuit. We're going to build a circuit that has one fuse, an open switch, two resistors, and a battery. So we have to have wire, right? Of course. So let's start down here. This is where I usually start. Remember, you can start wherever you want. So we need to have an open switch. So let's draw that symbol for an open switch. There's our open switch. Um, we need to have two resistors. So let's go this way. Let me see. Well, let's put a resistor on this side too, shall we? What else do we need? Uh, we need to have one fuse. Let's put the fuse up here at the top. And then, oh, a battery? Oh my gosh, we have to have a battery. We can't power any of this, can we? So let's get our battery symbol in right here. There's our battery symbol. So double check everything that you got. We need one fuse, an open switch, two resistors, and a battery. Good job. Easy cheesy. Have a great time.